Hi guys. Um, well, something really new here. Um, I've been having a couple of looks into Unreal Engine, and like I've been spending this last week learning um, the basics of all the stuff and how to set up a, a simple character and animations and all that jazz. I've watched plenty of tutorials online. Um, I wanted to show you like a little bit of where I'm at now. I used one of my models here with like the rig. The rig actually transferred pretty nicely into the engine, uh, even though it's quite a dense rig. Uh, to almost like about 300 bones, obviously 200 and less than 255 are skinned. Um, yeah, and I mean the shaders suck. It, it, doesn't look really that great so far, but also the animations, I did them my own, I died. Yeah, I set up a little ragdoll animation if the player dies. Um, and I set up like things like healing kids and so that you can see on the bottom right, there's like my health bar and my stamina bar and if I sprint or, or jump, like, do like strong jumps, my stamina goes down and then I can no longer um, do stuff, but it regenerates quite quickly, so that's fine. Then I have these like little things here where I was playing around with like hit detections, um, so that I can have my character like dive if it experiences too strong hits and shit. Like, boom. Uh, sometimes it looks really cool, because uh, it like flies instantly away, and they've got these ones that crush you. There you are, you died. Um, pretty fun stuff. Um, I'm gonna try like is at a later point to um, add in some like particle effects and you know like spawn blood and, uh, and cool things. Oops, I died again. Um, I also need to find out like you know how you how you set checkpoints and respawns and, and oh there you go. I just bumped me away. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking funny. Um, so yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with this so far. Um, I did set up like um, I'm planning to make like a little uh, uh, like third person sci-fi um, combat game. You know, it's like I still haven't done anything with the rifle. She just wears it on the back, and I can't like pull it and aim and shoot. So that's also something that I need to like look at at some point, but um, uh, oh no, yeah, when well, nothing happens if I exit the level that way. Um, so yeah, I need to like figure out all of these like how you shoot and obviously I need animations for that because without without some nice rifle aim animations, it's not gonna make lots of sense. Oops, it bumped me out. Um, It kind of sucks that the impact don't get transferred correctly most of the time. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, but yeah, I mean, and, and, and at, at the very beginning, I mean, I, <laughs> uh, I, I didn't spend too much time with this so far. Um, so there's a lot like stuff to go and obviously my animations, they don't look that great. so. Um, I'm gonna improve those, uh, not myself, there's like a couple of animation packs that I'm waiting to buy. Um, and once they get bought I'm gonna like see if I can write some, some little Python tools to retarget them to my rigs and then execute my rigs with all the dynamics and stuff and, and then re automatically retarget them back to the FBX skeleton. So some, some cool stif stuff that I, like I've got lots on my list, like, like really. Oh shit, this is close. Oh, that's it. Oh. It's kind of interesting that with like these objects, they bump the camera away. Um, yeah, so if you're interested, I'm gonna I'm gonna make after this one. I'm gonna make another video how I show like well, how I did certain things because um, it's it's kind of cool. I mean, it stuff also. It, um, it's more also meant for like to get feedback on uh, th 
things the way I did them. But I'm gonna explain that to you in uh, the next video. So, see you guys. Hope this was kind of fun. <laughs> it was fun for me. Just like, you know, just like a random demonstration. See you in the next one.